boys and girls. Buenas tardes, buenos dias, good afternoon, good morning. I am so excited to bring you a little Valentine's Day special. Um, I love Valentine's Day. You know why? Because you can tell people you love them. Like you could do that every day, yes. But I do love to send Valentines. I know a lot of us are at home, maybe, and we're not normally. Normally we'd be in school and we'd be having a Valentine's Day party and we might not be doing that, but you can still maybe FaceTime one of your buddies that you miss and let them know that you're thinking about them or or it's not too late to send a Valentine. You could draw something, you could write something and, and send something their way and make sure to just tell the people in your life that you love them and you appreciate them. Today, I have a very special story that was lent to me by a very special friend. Uh, Lulu, the librarian, is one of my favorite people on earth. She has just got the best energy. And I called her and I said, Lulu, I wanna read some of your favorite books. And she sent me this one, Martina, the Beautiful Cockroach. And I had never read it before. It is by, it's retold. So this is a Cuban folk tale. Cuba is an island that is south of the United States. It's a beautiful country. Um, I have not been, but I've seen many pictures. But Miss B, my dad, was born in Cuba. So I have always wanted to go. I want to go. I love the music. Cuban music is beautiful. Um, and the the dancing and they have really old cars still in Cuba. Um, so it's on my bucket list of places to go. But uh, I love the, the Cuban culture a lot. So I wanted to read to you. This is a really fun story. And I know it's kind of shiny because of the light. But it's called Martina, the Beautiful Cockroach. It is a Cuban folktale retold by Carmen Agradiri and illustrated by Michael Austin. So, you know, it's like I said, it's kind of shiny. We'll hold the cover back here a little bit. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> All right. So here is my Valentine's Day story to you, and you'll see why I am dressed like this in just a moment. Martina Josefina Catalina Cucaracha was a beautiful cockroach. She lived in a cozy street lamp in Old Havana with her big, lovable family. Now that Martina was 21 days old, she was ready to give her leg in marriage. The Cucaracha household was crawling with excitement. I'll pause there. Cucaracha, it's a fun word. Cucaracha. The R there. Ra, ra, ra. Cucaracha. Um, that is a cockroach. <laughs> so, the cucaracha household was crawling with excitement. Every señora in the family had something to offer. Tia Cuca gave her a peineta, a seashell comb. This is a peineta, and I was looking for, I wore one on my wedding day. I could not find the one, but this one is, it was just like it. It's made out of, you know, you can see it kind of looks like a little seashell there. Um, so I thought I'd wear it for her. So this is called a peineta. Tia Cuca gave her una peineta, a seashell comb. Mama gave her una mantilla, a lace shawl. So it is a shawl. They can look a lot of different ways, have a lot of different colors, but this is called a mantilla. Sometimes you wear it in your hair. Sometimes you can just wrap it, you know, around you. And we'll see how, how Martina Josefina Catalina Cucaracha wears hers. So, mam mama gave her una mantilla, a lace shawl, but abuela, her Cuban grandmother, gave her un consejo increíble, some shocking advice. If this abuela is like my abuela, she's got some advice to give. <laughs> you want me to do what? Martina aghast. You are a beautiful cockroach, said Abuela. Finding husbands to choose from will be easy. Picking the right one will be tricky. B -b -b stammered Martina. How will spilling coffee on a suitor's shoes help me find a good husband? Her grandmother smiled. <laughs> 
it will make him angry. Then you'll know how he will speak to you when he loses his temper. Trust me, Martina, the coffee test never fails. Martina wasn't so sure. See if Abuela knows what she's talking about. Meanwhile, Papa sent el perico, el perico ego, the parrot, to spread the word. Soon, all of Havana was from the busy sidewalks of El Prado to El Morro Castle. With, they were, <laughs> soon all of Havana, from the busy sidewalks of El Prado to El Morro Castle was a buzz with the news. Martina, the beautiful cockroach, was ready to choose a husband. As was the custom, Martina would greet her suitors from the balcony under her family's many watchful eyes. So you see her up there. Daintily she sat down and crossed her leg and crossed her legs and crossed her legs. She didn't have to wait long. Don Gallo. The rooster, a gallo is a rooster, strutted up first. Martina tried not to stare at his splendid shoes. Keeping one eye on his reflection, that means he was looking at himself in the mirror or something, Don Gallo greeted her with a sweeping bow. Caramba, you really are a beautiful cockroach. I will look even more fabulous with you on my wings. With that, he leaned forward and crooned, Martina, Josefina, Catalina, Cucaracha, beautiful muchacha, won't you be my wife? Martina hesitated only for an instant. Coffee, senor? Oh, boy. Right on cue, Abuela appeared with a click with a quick glance at her grandmother, Martina nervously splattered coffee on the rooster's spotless shoes. <gasps> oh my, she said with mock dismay. I'm all feelers today. Kikiri kiri! The rooster was furious. Clumsy cockroach, I will teach you better manners when you are my wife. Martina was stunned. The coffee test had worked. A most humble offer, senor, she said coolly, but I cannot accept. You are much too cocky for me. See, si, abuelas, no. Listen to your grandmamas. <laughs> Don Cerdo, so we have Cerdo, a pig, hoofed up next. His smell curled the little hairs on Martina's legs. <gasps> What an unimaginable scent, Martina wheezed. Is it some new pig cologne? Oh, no, senora. It's the sweet aroma of my pigsty. Rotten eggs, turnip peels, stinky cheese. Don Cerdo licked his chops and sang, Martina, Josefina, Catalina, Cucaracha, beautiful muchacha, won't you be my wife? Martina had already left in search of the coffee. She wasted no time with the pig. <coughs> Squealed the pig as he dabbed the coffee on his shoes. What a tragedy, my poor loafers! He really is quite a ham, thought Martina. Calm yourself, senor. I'll clean them for you. I'll say you will, he snorted. When you are my wife, there will be no end to cleaning up after me. Martina rolled her eyes in disbelief. A charming offer, senor, she said dryly. But I must decline. You are much too boorish for me. The coffee test had saved her from yet another unsuitable suitor. So here you can see her little, her peineta is a seashell, and she's got her mantilla over her head.
The pig was scarcely out of sight when Don Lagarto the lizard crept over the railing. His oily fingers brushed the little cockroach's lovely mantilla. You shouldn't sneak up on a lady like that. I don't sneak, I creep, he said, circling Martina. That does not help. <laughs> For some reason, this fellow really bugged her. I've had enough of creeps for one day, said Martina. Adios. But I need you. Wait. The lizard fell on one scaly knee and warbled. Martina, Josefina, Catalina, Cucaracha, beautiful muchacha, won't you be my wife? Martina sighed. Oh, let me see if there's any coffee left. This time, she wasn't taking any chances. Martina returned with two cups for the lizard. Psst, psst, he spat. Don Lagarto was livid. He changed colors three times before he finally found his true one. And to think I was going to eat, oh, uh, marry you. Martina stared at the lizard. You could have heard a bread, you could have heard a breadcrumb drop. Food for thought, senor. Martina said icily, but I must refuse. You are much too cold-blooded for me. When her grandmother returned to collect the day's coffee cups, Martina was still fuming. fuming. <sighs> I'm going inside, abuela. So soon? See. Si. I'm afraid of whom I might meet next. Abuela drew Martina to the railing and pointed to the garden below. What about him? Martina looked down at a tiny brown mouse and her cockroach heart began to beat fast. Tikitin, tikitan. Oh, oh, Abuela, he's adorable. Where has he been? Right here, all along. <gasps> what do I do? Go, talk to him. Just be yourself. <laughs> I just love him. Look at how cute he is. <laughs> you see him? Oh, okay. Martina handed Abuela her peineta and her mantilla. Then she scurried down to the garden. The mouse was waiting. Tikitin, tikitan, is their heartbeat sound. Oh, oh. <laughs> um. Hola, hello. His voice was like warm honey. My name is Perez. Hola, she whispered shyly. I'm Martina, the beautiful cockroach. He finished for her. Do you think I'm beautiful? The little mouse turned pink under his fur. Well, my eyes are rather weak, but I have excellent ears. I know you are strong and good, Martina Josefina Catalina Cucaracha. Then he squinted sweetly. Who cares if you are beautiful? Tikitin, tikitan. <gasps> Martin! Don't forget the coffee. It was Abuela. No, thought Martina. No coffee for Perez. Martina, Josefina. Martina, Josefina, Catalina, Cucaracha. Si, sí, abuela. Martina knew better than to argue with her Cuban grandmother. With a heavy heart, she reached for the cup. She did not want to spill coffee on him. She liked this one. But Perez got there first, quick as a mouse. He splashed Café Cubano onto Martina's shoes. 
Now the coffee was on the other foot. So he splashed coffee on her shoes. <gasps> Martina was too delighted to be angry. At last, she found her perfect match. But she had to ask, <gasps> How did you know about the coffee test? Perez grinned. Well, mi amor, my love. I, too, have a Cuban grandmother. <laughs> I love it. So that is Martina, the beautiful cockroach, and it is a Cuban folk tale. This was retold by Carmen Agradiri and illustrated by Michael Austin. I love the illustrations. So a big thank you again to Lulu for letting me borrow this from the library. Um... I have to return it now, <laughs> but I have found a new favorite little book. So, mis amorcitos, my little loves, amor is love in Spanish. Amorcitos is like little loves, and that's what I think you all are. My little loves, I hope that you have a beautiful Valentine's Day and that you make sure that you tell all the people in your life that you love them. And uh, you can make phone calls or write cards or do whatever you want to do. Give extra hugs. Maybe, maybe make a picture or, I don't know, bring them a snack. <laughs> Thank you all so much for tuning in to this today's Miss B's Audio Reads brought to you by Lulu the Librarian and Valentine's Day. Mwah! Hasta luego!